All right, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And today we're gonna go ahead and start to yank that rear end out of the Corvette so we can get ready to go in that C10. All right, well, I'm ready if you guys are ready. You ready? All right, let's go do this, come on. All right, so bring you in here real quick and just give you a quick overview of what we're about to do. So we got our four links. Um, we're gonna pop them loose here. Um, I went in here and already cut the brake cable, but <clears throat> or the brake line, but I do have the emergency brake cable. I'm gonna have to hit that with the zip cutter. Uh, we got shock disconnected. And, and then the main mount, let me see if I can, the main mount is right there and we'll need to um, pop that off. And then over here, you can see the uh, sway bar that runs around. There's a couple of spots that holds that up to the body. We'll pop those off. And that should be, that should be pretty much it. But before we can do any of that, I have to get up underneath here and I need to get that drive shaft uh, dropped out of here. So let's get that first. All right, so we're in the drive shaft tunnel now. And you can see the there's a couple of bolts right here on the rear end side. And then if you go all the way down over here to the transmission side, you can see there's two more bolts there on this brace that runs all the way along here. And we need to get that out of here. I assume I can get it out. I, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's see what we got. Well, I got the, the bolts out of this thing at the rear end. So I got to go up to the transmission and do it, but I had no idea. I just figured it was a short, you know, a short bolt that held it in there. But... This thing goes all the way up through. I had to I had to get a wrench up there to hold the other end, and there's like no room up there. So, yeah, anybody's looking to do this, it's uh, getting those out. It's a little bit of a challenge, especially when you don't have a lift and you're just laying underneath there. Oh boy! All right, let me get uh, let me get over to the front end and get the uh, transmission side up, and we should be able to get that long brace between the transmission and the rear end out of there. Then I should be able to get the rear the uh, drive shaft out. So let's keep moving. All right, guys, so I got all four of those bolts out on that brace that runs along there. And now I just need to get the uh, U-bolt, um, whatever, U-joint bolts out. Yeah, I'll get it right. Give me a break. Uh, so let me get the U-joint bolts out uh, real quick, and then we'll drop that drive shaft. All right. All right. Okay, so... I've got this apart, but it won't come out. So that'll, I'm sure, just fall out of there as soon as I get to a certain point. Um, but it's all loose, you can see here. Um, so I went over here. I got the uh, shocks. Both sides are uh, off now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is over here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the uh, mounts of the sway bar to the body. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. And then I think I'm gonna go to the outside over here and I'm gonna work on the four links. So let me get the, uh, the bolts out of uh, the sway bar and let's get that loose and we'll press on from there. Yep, it's getting fun. It's gonna be dropping soon, <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, so there you go. I got the sway bar disconnected from the body. So let's move up to the uh, four link, see what we got going on there. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, so 
Looks like we just got some bolts. I don't know what we got going on the other side. Looks like a cage. I don't know. I don't know what's going on back there. Let's see if we'll break it loose here and see what happens here. I know that light's blinding me too, so I'll get that turned. All right, let me get on, let me get on this. Okay, so it's just got these couple of bolts right here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's just as easy as that, but we'll see. I'm gonna cut this off real quick so it's out of the way, that's taken care of. And we're really getting down to just a last couple of things, really, so we're, we're getting pretty close. So let me cut this and get those. There's that. Ah. Oh, 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 they're tight. Ah. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that was tight. It's moving. What's on it? Alright, now. Too big. Got one. All right, let's get the second one. All right. Ah, oh, those are tight. Okay. All right, so not sure. They're just tight in there, I suppose. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get a jack into the center of this thing just to start to get to a place where we're gonna start to get, I think, a little bit unsupported and I just want to be careful so let me get the jack in the middle of this thing and uh, and then we're gonna head over to the other side take the other two bolts out on that side and then hopefully all we got left is uh, these uh, main mounting bolts right here that go through here and we'll we'll see well I got the other side taken care of so the four links are all removed all the cables that I can see are been cut. Um, now we just got to get this bolt that runs through here on both sides. And I think that's the last thing holding this to the car. So that is my next challenge. Uh, shouldn't be too terribly bad, I don't think, but we'll see. All right, let's see what we got. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, that's tight. Hmm. Uh, wow, that's gonna, it's gonna be tricky. Can only get a little click at a time here, looks like. Oh, it's just... It's coming loose. Right, let's see if I can get it now. Just gonna be slow going, looks like. Nobody said it would be easy, right? Just gonna nice and slow. Hope you guys got nothing else to do. Maybe uh, grab a snack. I don't know. Bring something for me. I'm hungry. All right. All right. Now let's see. There we go. All right. Okay. One more to go, and we'll see if uh, let's see if I missed anything. Uh, come on, why don't you come on over here with me? <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. All right, all right. Let's see if we can get this side, and then see see what happens with this thing. I have no idea. Uh, let's let's just start over here again. sure what to expect here uh, we'll find out all right so it's been a pain but essentially it feels like the rear end has, has come loose and there's some pressure on it because this whole, this whole thing's gonna come loose as soon as that bolt comes out fun part see about coming down with it and see if I missed anything all right let's see what we got So the four links are all right. There's one. Okay, 
All right, so we got it down. Um, so now I got to deal with this drive shaft. I was hoping I could just get it down enough. We could pull the drive shaft out of the transmission. I'll just pull the whole thing out together like that because it was really hard to get to those U-joint bolts. So I was really hoping I could get that to all come out. So let me go take a look at the uh, transmission side of the drive shaft. See if we can't help it pop out of there. Otherwise, <laughs> we got a rear end hanging and I like it. I, I like it. All right, let me see what I can do. All right, let's, uh, let's see what I got here. Oh, it's already, it's already almost out. All right, well, the drive shaft's almost out. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep jiggling it around from the other end, and it should come out. Just trying to think. I should put something there. Let me, let me put something to catch it so it doesn't fall on the concrete. Okay, she's uh, she's completely t taken away from the body. Uh, it's, it's on the ground basically right now. So we're just gonna see if we can't work it out uh, from underneath there. Yes. Awesome. Very, very cool. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are. But, uh, well, I'm just hitting everything. All right, so there you go. You can see everything here now. And, of course, the drive shaft. So we got the rear end out, and now we can concentrate on getting the engine and transmission out so that we can get to that front suspension and uh, rack and pinion steering. All right. Oh, it's a long day. Very long day. I wasn't just doing this. I had some other stuff I was doing, so it's getting dark. I'm getting hungry, but very cool. Okay, guys. Uh, Appreciate you guys coming along on this one. Uh, really wasn't that bad. Uh, it's just a few bolts. You know, I just had to kind of go around, look at it, cut loose, whatever needed to be cut loose, get the bolts out. That metal brace that went from the transmission to the uh, rear end, that was probably the toughest part of this whole job. It was, uh, it was challenging. Uh, it was hard to get up in there under those nuts. They were on the nuts around the top. 
and you had the long bolts that went through it. And uh, here, I'll, I'll walk you through here real quick. Let me show you real quick here, guys. All right, so you can see, you well, know, these are the big ones. Uh, this is what we had. It was actually like this, all right? And you had to get up on top of this thing, but there was probably that much clearance to the tunnel. So there was very little room up top to get to these. Um, and, and you can see here, there's the holes that it went through and then you had the same thing on the other side. So it was, uh, it was probably the most challenging part of this whole thing. So otherwise it was about what I expected. So this thing here will get cleaned up. Actually for now, it's just going to be like it is. I'm going to set it outside here and, uh, once I'm done stripping this down, these things can be cleaned up and get ready to put, uh, you know, start getting ready to put on that frame. So, all right. Okay. Now, where was I? We were saying goodbye. That's what we were doing. Like, subscribe. You guys, uh, man, we hit 500 and we haven't slowed down. That's freaking amazing. So, uh, just keep, keep coming. You guys are watching right now and you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed. Why not? It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and you're going to get to watch the rest of, of this series as we're stripping this vet down and we're starting to set up that frame. And you'll get the notifications and all that. So like, subscribe, share, and uh, help me out. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you on the next video.